Um, okay, that's against the law. I was about to start a video without my candle being lit. I mean, am I all right? <gasps> I nearly forgot my bloody coffee as well, didn't I? beautiful beautiful friends i am so excited to be filming this video today so it's currently saturday this video is going live tomorrow i basically had a very unplanned trip to b&m you know one of those where you go in for a browse you end up spending more money than you ever could imagine in b&m come out with three bags and you sit wondering if you actually needed or wanted the things but you picked them up because they're such a bargain well that was me yesterday obviously i know you guys love b and poundland as much as me and i feel like as soon as Gemma is back with the poundland and b and videos you know autumn is is here i keep trying to convince myself that it's too early it's too early and you know what it's never too early i feel like if something makes you happy do it and autumn makes me happy so i am doing it it's sunday morning so i'm hoping you're still in your pajamas you're still cozy light some candles get a cuppa and i really really hope you enjoyed this video i cannot wait to show you what i've got come on ladies it's time to make an appearance so i have got two big b m bags i've also got another sack you know the B&M sacks? Well, I've got one of those um, with some bigger bits in. And then I've got one lonely bag from Poundland. Poundland wasn't, wasn't fabulous. Oh, wow. The flies on my jeans actually just undid themselves. I mean, that's not a great sign really is it wow my belly's just trying to just trying to bust out of that. God, that's made me feel good. My jeans just bursting at the seam when I sit down. Brilliant. I'm gonna start with one of my favorite purchases of this haul and that is of course I got a new throw did I need a new throw absolutely not I've got hundreds but I just had to pick it up it was only 14 99 and I promise you right as soon as you touch this there is absolutely no way you can leave it on the shelf like it has to come home with you treat yourself Gemma treat yourself to the softest throw in the entire land so they had a few different colors of these they had like a gray one a cream one and I think almost like a marble effect one but as you guys know my living room is like gray and gold and blush pink so I thought this would just be so cute on the blanket for little Netflix nights oh my god I'm so excited I feel like as the colder months creep in I just I want my house to be really really cozy and clearly buying ridiculous amounts of throws makes me feel cozy so next i was honestly over the moon with this purchase like i was in b&m on my own right and i saw it and i just stood staring at the aisle like smiling i was just like this literally i was so happy i found myself some cream jersey bedding if you're with me last year you're probably absolutely sick of me saying this but just in case you are new here and you've never tried jersey bedding oh my lord it is a life changer like honestly my life was changed from the moment i slept in jersey bedding as some of you may know my decor used to be all gray so the gray jersey bedding is really really easy to get your hands on but the cream not so much so i was kind of like looking there like about to cry looking at the gray jersey bedding thinking hmm could i have gray in an all cream bedroom then I kind of walked away admitting defeat and lone bloody behold, the cream one was in the reduced style. So it was reduced from £20 to 15 which, you know, every little helps, every little saving helps. I believe this is going on tonight and I am getting an extra early night just so I can lay there and live my best life in my jersey bedding. So next I picked up this big old photo frame which was only 6 99 and yeah, it's just a plain white wooden photo frame. Now I actually want to use this to create a vision board. So currently at the moment I've got a vision board on Pinterest where I pin all of like my future goals and I look at it every morning and every night. Now if you're familiar with the secret or law of attraction it's so important to create a vision board just so you can vision your goals i guess i think as well if you struggle to be positive or you're, you're not in a great place right now i think creating a vision board is really really good for you because for me if i'm feeling a little bit sad or feeling a little bit down and i've got my little vision board on pinterest of all of the things that i want to achieve in my life so i've got on there like my dream house my dream car um 
kind of like pictures of like family goals of when I have children and stuff like that and instantly when I look at my vision board it just lifts my spirits so what I want to do is I want to create one in a photo frame I kind of just want to like get it out every night and put it on my bedroom floor and I feel like I can almost like fall asleep looking at it okay now I understand that sounds absolutely that shit crazy that's the story as to why i got this big ass frame oh no gemma so now we're on to the smaller bags i've emptied my sack wow never say that again so one of my favorite aisles in b m is of course the kitchen aisle and i found this cute little mug again definitely didn't need any more mugs my mug cupboard is busting a bit like the zip on my jeans. I love anything with cute little quotes on. I love the little hearts. I'm just, I'm, I'm a big fan of this cup. Um, and also I can get a lot of coffee in there. And this little guy was £1.99. Oh my Lord have mercy, right? B&M have started selling fake Woodwick. Is it Woodwick? I think it's Woodwick. Woodwick candles and oh my freaking God, how legit do they look? They're only £7.99. Now I actually, funnily enough, bought a woodwick candle the other day should i go get it let me go get it and we'll do like a comparison like genuine fake <sighs> that's embarrassing i'm actually out of breath from running up the stairs so this is a woodwick candle and then this is the dupe that i got from b&m now they do actually do woodwick candles in this shape like exactly this shape so i feel like it would have been better if i had that to compare it to hang on a minute i'm actually gonna have to take a breather like i'm that out of breath bloody hell oh baby that smells so good i want to eat it so the best thing about these wood wick candles is the wick would you believe is actually wood so when you light it it almost makes like a little crackling sound as if you're having like a fire so i just think personally it's really really cozy um they had quite a few different scents of these as well and also i'm not gonna lie because it had little stags on it it just reminded me of christmas and i was like oh if B&M had Christmas candles right now, they would all be coming home with me. But, to my disappointment, B&M didn't have any autumn or Christmas candles. I was like, what the hell? It's August. Why don't you have your Christmas stock out? Do you know what I mean? Okay, so this is where I feel like my B&M haul is going to get super random. I feel like we've done the throws, the mugs, the candles. Now, this is where I kind of go on a bit of a downward spiral and start picking up everything. Um, so just bear with how absolutely random this is gonna be but B&M is just random isn't it next I picked up some rose gold straws from the party aisle because I'm absolutely sick to death of drinking my gin without a straw I love rose gold thought these were cute they're only a quid so they went straight in my basket okay so next I picked up a tropical leaf on a um, wood block to be honest I actually thought this would look kind of cute in my backdrop like not gonna lie Mm. okay now i'm not sure it might look nice in the bathroom i just thought it was cute and i love like a tropical vibe at the moment i might put it in the bathroom um i'm starting to have a bit of regret from my tropical leaf accessory i'm not sure what do you guys think anyway this was 2.99 i kind of wish i'd got two maybe two would look nice no quit while you're ahead Gemma. quit while you're ahead okay everyone this is the randomest bag on planet earth um i'm not gonna talk too much about these items because i don't want to bore you to death but basically i picked up a new minky if you don't know about these cleaning sponges they're bloody fabulous so get yourselves one of them um got some zoflora b m in peterborough isn't really that great apparently for the zoflora scents i actually got this for my mum because she mentioned she loved it the other day so that's for mama miles then i picked up some of this fake Zoflora. What's it actually? It's called it's called Fabulosa. I mean, has someone actually been in that already? Because that is not full. I saw Laura actually put this on a story and I was like, huh, if she says it's good, it's gotta be good. So I also got this in the coconut scent, which also smells unreal. Then I picked up just some tea lights for my wax burners, one pound each. I got two packs. Picked up some bin bags because if you buy bin bags from the supermarket, you've got more money than cents. Why are they so expensive in supermarkets? These were £1.99. Very good bin liners if you're um, 
interested. And then I got some new Unstoppables. These are in the scent Lavish. So, so nice. They almost smell like perfume. If you guys have watched my speed cleans, you will see that I actually put these in cushion covers on my sofa because when you sit down, it smells beautiful. God, I'm absolutely surrounded by cleaning products and tropical leaves and candles and it's just all a bit much. And then the last thing I picked up from B&M was just some new Airwick Life Scents. I love these. I pretty much have them in every single plug in my house. Um, I've never actually tried this scent, but it was marshmallow, raspberry and rose, which I just thought sounded delicious. So I'm really, really excited to use these. And then I also just got on with a new plug in and this is tropical island breeze oh my gosh this one smells amazing and another one of my favorites is summer delights oh my god it smells so nice and these were 2.99 each right then beautiful people let's have a sip of coffee and then let's move on to poundland oh my god i don't think i've shown you this mug by the way how cute i know so many of you are going to ask me where this is from it's from new look i got me and soph one of these which you will see in wednesday's video oh my god wednesday's video is potentially one of my favorite videos i've ever filmed i actually can't wait for you to see it so poundland 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 I'm not very happy with Poundland to be completely honest because I don't feel like it was very good. I mean, Poundland is usually on top form at Christmas. I feel like Poundland's Christmas stuff is wicked. It's wicked. Wow. Is it 2004 or something? So yeah, I'll definitely do another Poundland haul more near Christmas. And you guys also know B&M and Poundland new in at Christmas is also coming. I'm really, really excited. I said on my Instagram the other day, I'm going to go back up to three uploads a week because I've just got so many video ideas and I feel like there's just not enough time to get them all in. So yeah, three videos a week. So make sure the notification bells are on because my upload days will always be Wednesday and Sunday. Like Wednesday at five, Sunday at 10. They're my main upload days. But I'm not entirely sure when to add when to add the third one in. I'm thinking a Saturday because I do like a Saturday morning upload. Um, but it might just be on a random day as and when. So just stick the notification bell on so you don't miss anything. Okay, so from Poundland, this was actually £5. Which I kind of hate it when they do that because you do assume when you go into the pound shop that everything's going to be a pound. But how actual cute is this? I literally thought this on my backdrop would look so nice because in the little bulb... Actually, should we get it out? Let's get it out. Ooh. Oh my god, it's actually so cute. Oh my god, cute. Oh, it needs batteries. Oh my god, that's so adorable though. For £5, how amazing is that? Hmm find somewhere for it. I think these would be really nice as like bedside lamps. Okay Poundland, I take back everything negative I said about you. You already know I went down the stationery aisle and I just thought this was really really useful. So it's a little meal planner. Sticks to your fridge. So I just thought that was really really nice. So it's got breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. Um where's the snack after dinner? Like that's the best snack. Like about the 9 p.m snack is the best. I'm gonna have to add another little section here that says snack I feel like they're being a little bit stingy with only two snacks in the day like snacks are life new pens definitely did not need any more stationery definitely didn't need any of that but i just thought these were cute so this one's rose gold and it's got a little crown and this one is like a blush pink color and it's got a little diamond on the top when you want to be that person when someone's like have you got a pen and you whip out like the most bougie pen ever from your bag and then the last thing I got from Poundland, which I don't really want to properly get out the bag because it goes everywhere. Basically, I got three of these feather boas. Now, if you watched my Christmas tree video last year, you guys will know I use feather boas to decorate my Christmas tree. I know it sounds crazy, but make it look really snowy and really luxe and really glamorous. So the best place to go for feather boas is actually Poundland. Honestly, if you get them online, they can be up to £10 each. So... I'll link my Christmas tree video in the description box below, just in case you fancy watching a Christmas tree video in August. Um, but yeah, I know last time when I mentioned them, they sold out really, really quick. So if you are as crazy as me and you want to start buying Christmas things already, then get down to Poundland. So my loves, we have reached the end of my B&M and Poundland haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you loved the bits I picked up. You guys already know I've planned to film a Come to B&M video with me, but what I want to do is... To be completely honest, I've been going to B&M sort of every three or four days to see if they've got any autumn stuff in. But as soon as I feel like 
there's a lot of autumn stuff and it's worthy b&m is worthy of me showing you guys then you know i'll film a new in b&m so you don't even have to go out the house you can sit watch the video see if there's anything you like and then you can make your trip to b&m i've actually planned all of my autumn winter content including my christmas content i literally sat for a full day the other day in silence just planning and planning and planning and oh my god i'm so excited i've got some really like different ideas for this year which i just know you guys are gonna love so much so yeah i'm feeling really really good really motivated really happy i also just wanted to say thank you so much for all your love on yesterday's video um i made that video to hopefully motivate people inspire people and yeah it seems to have done that which makes me so happy so yeah i just wanted to say thank you i'm sending you all the happy positive vibes for the brand new week ahead and i shall see you on wednesday bye Hello.